hello friends welcome to free care tutorial and in this tutorial we will do analysis of a rod and we will verify our calculation result with a FEM result of a free cat so as you can see that this rod is fixed at one end and it's having the force of 500,000 so I have already did the analysis of this rod I have a model this rod and here are the analysis results so maximum displacement we see here 0 0.16 and if we see our calculations it is a 0 0.16 mm so for this rod here are the values so rod radius is a 50 mm rod length is 200 young model is 80 GPA and force is 500,000 so here is the formula to calculate the extended length DL is equal to F multiplied by L divided by A multiplied by E so force is a 500,000 Newton multiplied by length which is the 200 area of this rod is pi r square and if we do the calculation we will get 7850 and E is a young modulus which is a 80 multiplied by 10 raised to 4 and if we do our calculation we are getting 0 0.16 which is the actual value we are getting in a free CAD FEM workbench so here is the displacement value and if I on the wrap factor here so I am also getting this value here which is the maximum displacement so I will show you from the scratch how I did this analysis and how you can do the same based on this calculations and you can apply your own calculation if you are engineering students if you are uh, having the similar type of a problem you can solve it within a free CAD FEM workbench so let's start so I will create a new file I will close this one so I will create a new file and I will create a body but uh, body is not I think required because we have to create a cylinder so we can create uh, in a part workbench also here we will select a cylinder and once you click on the cylinder you will get here radius height so as per our input radius is 50 so we will give our radius 50 length is 200 is height and here is our rod now we will save this our analysis now we will switch to the FEM workbench as in my previous tutorials I have already explained about this analysis container so first we have to create a container and inside this container our all the parameters of FEM will come so I will select this cylinder and I will select material for solid so here we are going to apply the material now we will click here edit free CAD material so once you click on it you will get the material properties and here is the option of a uh, young modulus so our young modulus is a uh, 80 GPA so we will go here type 80 80 GPA now we will say ok So you can see here our YUG modulus is reflecting here 80 GPA. 
now uh, geometry selector for the solid so what uh, what the we have applied young modulus so we will select add and I will select this body so cylindrical face and here select solid and say ok now on this cylinder our properties has been applied now we will move to the next step next step is that as per our input in, in an image that one end is a fix and other having the force of uh, 500,000 so I will select this face and click on fix constraint and I will click on add and I will select this face and I say ok now you can see here it is a symbol of a fix which has been applied here now I will go to the isometric and now I will go for the force click on add and select on this surface and our load is 500,000 now we will say ok now we have applied the fix and we have applied the force and we have also applied the material now we will go here on solver ccx tool and we will click on solver job control and this is the statics ok now we will click on this solver and we will run our solver calculation so calculus cannot be started due to the missing prescribed no mesh has been defined in analysis ok so I forgot to mesh my part so now I will select my solid and I will create for the FEM mesh for shape by net gen and I will keep the values as default and I will say apply ok now the mesh has been applied to my part now I will rebuild it now I will click on my solver and I will run my analysis so here is the result so I will click on the results and you can see that max displacement is 0 0.16 here and with respect to our hand calculation 0 0.16 so I will also provide this calculations image in a video description and anybody can easily practice with the same values and same results with same model I will also provide the source model so now this is the displacements magnitude now we will click on the result and click on the post pipeline results so once you click on it you will get a graph on a right hand side here and on if you click on post result pipeline and click on wrap filter vector displacement mode surface field displacement so basically we want to show the displacement magnitude and say apply and now you can see here the two bodies so for this hide it now you will see the maximum stresses is working at the bottom where we have the force of a 500,000 Newton we can say force or load and at the top the blue 
means no stresses is acting there or very negligible stresses so this is how you can relate the deformations in a length or increase in a length with respect to this colors for better you can pan your model near to this and you can relate it with respect to color so this is the maximum acting this is how you can read the your results so this is all about this tutorial to validate our calculation with the uh, FEM result of a free CAD and uh, in future I will come with more example like this with a different type of a case studies to validate the our calculation results with re with the help of a free CAD FEM I hope you have liked this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please like subscribe and share my channel your small support will help this channel to grow I will come with more useful tutorial if you have any suggestion then please give your suggestion in the video descriptions thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time